Yes, hello and welcome to another vlog from Ben Ryder. Today we're testing out the QJ Motor SRT 550. It's a 550cc engine, two cylinders, pretty much comparable to a Honda CB500X definitely. It has almost 48 horsepower, so it is A2 compatible. You can ride it with your A2 license. It is slightly in the torque, slightly higher than the CB500X, but actually I did not feel anything. I, I would actually say that uh, it has less power uh, than a CB500X. That's what I felt, but maybe just uh, my impression or wrong impression, whatever. Anyways, let's get to the controls and the display and uh, then we'll do the test right and later on I will give you the verdict. So on the left hand side we have the clutch lever which is adjustable in four positions. We have the um, passing light switch here for your index finger quite handy, comes in quite handy and I like it always when you have it here for your index finger, very easy to reach. We have high beam, low beam here. We have the a blinker switch here. We have a horn here. We have the two buttons for the display. I only know what the enter is for. The other one, maybe it's for setting the clock or so. That's all there's two on the left hand side. On the right hand side, we have the throttle. We have the brake lever, two front displays, pretty big actually. Um, we the um, Lever is also adjustable in four positions. We have the emergency cutoff switch here. We have the hazard light switch here and we have a starter switch here. We have a very uh, practical USB connection on the left hand side of the display. The display itself uh, is um, LC inverted LC display. I also wanted to point out actually here we can uh, we have this bar and uh, it's pretty handy, comes in pretty handy because you can put your navigation GPS system up there. Uh, anyways, back to the display, L inverted LC display. Not much to do here because we don't have any manual whatsoever. We just uh, basically get what we see here on the left hand side on the top, in the top corner, we have the fuel uh, tank capacity. On the right hand side, uh, on top, we have the coolant temperature. Uh, in, uh, in the middle, down below, we have the gear indicator. In the um, kind of a half circle here is the uh, RPM counter. Underneath, we have the uh, speedometer. Uh, down below, on the left hand side, we have a clock. And to the right, we have the uh, different datas. We can switch around here with the enter button. We have the trip 2, we have total mileage and we have trip 1 which I just had reset. That's all there is to it for on the display. As I said I don't have any menu or anything whatsoever so it is fairly simple.
So this is the QJ Motor SRT550 2023 model and we'll take it out for a little spin. Let's go. So when you get on the bike, the first thing that you notice is the seat. It is fairly low compared to all the other uh, adventure tourer or whatever you call them 795 apparently i mean i don't have to totally tip a toe on this it's not perfect but of course you know the seats is also a little bit uh, wider but still uh, fairly acceptable for my size um, i am 175 so let's uh, go back to the dealer let's start it up the uh, clutch comes on fairly late in the travel, so it reminds me of all the Honda bikes which have a fairly late clutch engagement. Rear brake. Uh, you have to put a lot of pressure down on the rear brake usually they're not the best i just wanted to find out what it's like front disc brake very big uh, disc in the front that should be good for you and yeah very good stopping power here It is very agile and nimble usually I mean people always say that about bikes but this is true it only has 17 17 uh, 17 inch in the front and 17 inch in the rear and in the front I mean 17 inch for this kind of bike kind of uh, kind of smallish but nevertheless I mean it's very very flickable and uh, it's still it is still actually fairly straight and uh, running straight through the corners but uh, at in lower uh, speed situations you, yeah as I said it's very flickable and nimble and so actually I would consider this a plus point as well but it is fairly unusual I mean on these bigger bikes the adventure tourer and stuff like that usually have a bigger or larger front tire and it is not as flickable I just had a test ride on a Vogue or Vogue uh, with a 18 inch in the front and you notice that right away that it you know I couldn't fling it around like that but here it is very very nimble <laughs> anyways that's what I wanted to point out and let's go on the freeway here and find out what it's like there yeah the clutch and the the gears all is fairly straightforward and easy to get in and out a neutral is easy to find i don't have any complaints about this the engine sound or the exhaust sounds a bit different not so nice to my ears as a cb 500x for example like a humming sound and the sound of the CB500X is a little bit deeper more grumbling but it is I would consider it a bit more quiet you know yeah and fifth or especially the sixth gear I have the impression I know it's like an overdrive but still compared to other bikes with the same uh, power that this is kind of lacking power in the higher gears Maybe it's because of the ratio, I don't know. And I can feel already the next thing that I wanted to tell you about is the windscreen, which is not very good. Uh, it seems big with all these ears on the side and stuff. They think it's quite nice, but actually not really. Um, yeah unfortunately okay it goes not really above your head to the maybe the top of your visor I'm 175 
also somehow we get a lot of wind turbulence through this windscreen and it is fairly loud actually at this speed which i can go with other bikes and it's much quieter this is fairly loud already so it means the windscreen is not the best unfortunately but at least you have this nice little bar there handy little bar where you can put your cell phone or you can put your gps or something on it other than that it leaves a very very big impression if you sit on it massive it seems like the tank is massive i mean it's not massive a lot of plastic on here of course but it has like over 19 liters of capacity but still with all the plastic fairing and stuff it leaves an impression that you're sitting on a very very big bike like almost like on an africa twin or something so this is what it looks like when it's dark at the display of course naturally quite nice in the dark at, in sunlight still acceptable but not super nice that's everything I can tell you about the uh, QJ Motor SRT 550. A very com comparable bike, com competitively priced, I must say. We have a price, I don't know if I mentioned that already, of 6500 on the road, including registration, <coughs> including two side cases, including top box. It's a special offer at the moment. We have including these uh, side bars here for protection everything included six and a half on the road that is a damn good price i would say that's everything about this test ride of the srt 550 from qj motor thanks very much for watching this is ben right out take care bye bye